few words and let me finish. Is this crisis now going to affect globalization? Yes, no, we don't know. There are a few figures. There was a 1.1% uh, in world GDP in 2009. But 3.4% decrease in the developed world and 1.7% increase in the, uh, in, the, in the developing world. This is telling. China is expected to post a growth of 8% or higher, and India 5.6% in 2009. The crisis is rapidly is accelerating a process that it will, has been there for the last 20 years at least. My previous slides, you know, the uh, distribution of uh, uh, the, the end of the Great Divert, it's increasing rapidly the shift of economics, economic focus to Asia. So it's good to be born in Asia in the, in the, 20, in the 21st century. Deglobalization has been dramatic in finance. Look at this figure, 82% decline in capital flows. So, again, what's the future of, are we going to see the same process of financial globalization as in the past? It's a big question, much will depend on what kind of reforms of the financial industry. Uh, we shall be, uh, Obama shall be able to, to impose upon Wall Street and extract from the Congress. Trade, big, big, big decline. Again, split, they both declined, but you know, the decline of trade in the developed world was twice the decline of world in the developing, in the developing world. And finally, seems to appear now, you know, people like Keynes at home and Smith, abroad. What does it mean? It means that we would like to have big state intervention at home to keep up domestic demand, you know, and all the things that we have been seeing, big, big government spending and, uh, uh, and uh, monetary ease and the government support to individual sectors, etc. But at the same time, we want, since we keep up and we spend so much money for our sector, for our industry, we would like it to be able to export, so we would like to have free trade uh, uh, or uh, uh, international. Is this sustainable? Is this sustainable politically? Sean says no, and I tend to strongly agree with him. Still, for the time being, and this is a matter of uh, pride, I think it was a success of this period. Tit for tat protection, uh, as in the 1930s, did not occur so far. So we have been able, for the time being, to rein in the uh, globalization backlash in terms of uh, tariff wars. Perhaps rather than the 1930s, I would have. A comparison with the 1970s when uh, we had in every reaction to the crisis in the 1970s, labor market and the capital market regulation, subsidies, the stimuli, etc. etc. If this is the, 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 the situation today rather than the 1930s, in the, 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 the similarity of the 1970s, then what of international trade? My answer is much depends on what will happen in the next uh, few months. We are in a period of, of a moment when we really do. If we are really at the turning point, and I have my doubts about it, if we are really at the turning point, then probably we shall mend, we shall mend the uh, economies in the West uh, and we shall all be happy to go on with the current uh, uh, international trade practices, etc. If, on the other hand, we have this double, double situation and there is no recovery in Europe, there is uh, 
uh, slack recovery in the United States, and this lingers on for a number of years, <coughs> then, then you can see already the signs of social distress. You see what's going on, extreme case in, in, uh, in uh, Greece, of course, but uh, you have, you know, it's not so common to see the uh, Airstrike for three three days of airstrikes in Germany. You don't have to see so much, so many people will tell me maybe. So I don't give you my predictions. What I can tell you as an historian, watch income distribution. Watch who gains and who loses, and watch whether we're able to recreate growth in a relatively short period of time, in which case I think globalization will be, will be safe and we shall uh, continue with different institutions with the more or less in this path. That will lead us, I skip, this is a very nice slide, it is a, it's all the synthesis of all the globalization. Just a, just a, if what I said, if we have the rosier, the rosier, uh, situation, then this is what will happen by 2030. 2030 is tomorrow. Uh, Asia will be by far the largest, the largest economic area in the world, uh, with all the attendant geopolitical changes and shifts. So globalization in the next 20 years and beyond, suppose, assuming we are safe from the present crisis, globalization will depend not so much on technology, which will be there, but on international economic relations. I think international economic relations are very much change in the relative power of the big areas and the big countries, well, something that will be to be covered. So again, my friends, it's institutions, institutions, institutions. Thank you very much.